Okay, welcome to another day at the bar with Core Moves. Um, today we are really going to focus on those glutes. So our glutes and our abs is where it's at. We're going to do a little bit of arms with the weights. Um, so let's just get going with it. So grab your weights um, and have them right close to your body there. And we're just going to come standing up and start warming up. So make sure you have your balance point nearby and get your feet to get distance apart. And let's just wake up those feet uh, muscles, intrinsic muscles in the feet. So let's peel the toes away from the floor one at a time, starting with your big toe. So right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, baby toe, then place the baby toe, second toe, middle toe, and big toe down. Left side, left up, 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 and down, 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 down. Quite hard to do. Let's just bend those knees gently and then straighten them up, connecting the quads. Find that connection with your glute muscles and pull the belly in. We're gonna pull the rib cage down and tuck it in our front pockets. And then let's just bend the right knee and the left. We're keeping the heels down and the left, and the right and the left. And let's straighten them both. Now we're gonna transfer the weight to the left side, come up on the ball of the right and float the foot up. Reach your hands up overhead, shoulder distance. Let's tap those toes down for eight, seven, six, Five, keep your shoulders away from your ears. Four, three, two, one. Place it down, transfer the weight to the right side, roll up on the left, lift it up for eight, seven. Using your core to find that connection, keep pulling those ribs down. Five, three more, two, one, place it down. Now we're gonna come up onto the, uh, up onto the balls of the feet, so lifting those heels. And we're going to drive the right knee forward and then the left, keeping those arms up, right and the left. So lift and really squeeze that heel down. Lift the knee, squeeze the heel down. Engage that whole leg as you push it down and squeeze. Squeeze, let's open the arms out to the side and bring them down to our hips, in towards our belly. Last one. Now lift them both up and lower. Lift and lower. Three, finding that connection in the big toe and the pinky. So we don't want to sickle through that foot. We're coming straight up and straight down. Lift and down. So remember, sickling is when we roll out to the sides or in. So you want to keep those going straight up and down. Up and down. Last one. Lift and lower. Good job. Let's just pick up those weights now. And we're going to bring our thighs in close together. Little soft bend in the knees, and we're gonna pick those weights up to shoulder height. Let's pull them in for our biceps, and slow release. Pull and release. Focus on that tricep, lengthening the arm away, and keep squeezing those inner thighs, finding that connection with the pelvic floor, the rib cages down and back, and reach. Four, three, two, one, now just the right, pull it in and out, in, full extension, in and reach. Keep that collarbone nice and wide, four, three, keep squeezing those thighs, two, last one on the left, bring it out and in, out and in, three, really pull that bicep in and four. Four. So the more you think about that muscle contraction, the more you're going to contract the muscle. Last one. Now we're going to reach them both up. Up and down. Up. Only come down to chest height. Reach and down. Reach. So you come back to that 90 degree. Reach and down. Four. Three. Two. One, pull them down, turn the palms to face each other, spin those toes out to our first position. And we're gonna open, squeeze it in. Open and squeeze. So squeeze those shoulders behind you. Squeeze and close. Four, three, two, one, hold them out, reach them out, pull them in. Reach and in, reach and in. Keep squeezing your glutes. And in, let's bend the knees and pull, knees and pull, knees and pull, 
Last two, and pull, last one, stay down and let's pulse. Two, three, little lift in the arms. Four, three, two, push the arms down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, push it forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lift them up to the top, down. Lift them up and down. Lift them up and down. Keep those ribs connected, lift it up, squeeze those glutes, bring it down. Lift it up, open the feet to parallel, bring the elbows back, hinge the body forward, reach those triceps back, pull it in, back, pull it in. Keep the upper arm in line with the torso, push and pull, push and pull. Four more, four, three, two, Keep that booty sticking out and pulse. Two, three, four, long in the neck. Three, two, eight, more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to singles, pull it in and push. Two, and push. Three, four, four, three, two, one and pulse, two, three, four, four, three, two, let's row now. Pull them in, push them down, pull it back. Down and pull, down and pull, down and pull. Four more, four, three, two, one, pull it back. Now push it down and fly, open and close. So lat raises or flies, open and close. Four, three, two, one, hold it there, lift the body up, bring the weights down, and let's bring them down from close to the hips, soft bend in the knees, pull them in and down, last biceps, in and down, three, four, four, three, two, one, now turn them to face towards each other, lift those shoulders out and in, out and in, lift, lift, four, three, two, one, kick them out and hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, put them down, good job, have them clamped in because we'll pick those back up again when we do our abs later. And we're going to come to our balance uh, point. So you want your balance point facing you, either the seat or the back of it facing you. And you remember, you want to be standing so that you can fully extend your arms or you can come down and bend your elbows on it. And we're going to find that connection with our left leg there. Come up on the ball of the right foot and slide that foot back. Make sure you have room behind you to extend your leg. Find that core connection, pull the belly in, lengthen the spine. And we're going to lift that leg up, point the toe and hold four, Spin the thigh in so it stays in parallel. Two and one. Let's lower and lift. Tap it down. Squeeze. Two. Squeeze. Three. Four. Lift it up. Four. Three. Two. One. And pulse. Two. Three. Four. Four. Three. Two and one. Laterally rotate the leg, flex the toe towards the face. Open it up slightly wider so it's more like shoulder distance now. Lower it down and lift. Two, lift. Three, four, four, three. Keep the leg straight. Two, one. Pulse it, pulse. Two, three, four, four. Three, keep the belly pulled in. Now we're going to pull that heel into the opposite bum. Pull it in and push. In and push. Three, four, four, three, two, one. Reach it out, swing it out to the side and lower and lift. Lower and lift. Three, four, four. Three, two, one, lift it up and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, point the toe, pull the heel in in your arabesque. Lift it up and lower, 
lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Four more, four, three, two, one, pulse at eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Reach it out and lift and lower. Lift back in that lateral line with the pointed toe and lower. And lower. Four more. Four, three, two, one, and pulse. Two, three, four, four, three, two. Turn to parallel back to the middle and lift. And lift. Three, four, four, three, two, and pulse. Two, three, stay in parallel. Two, three, and four, bring it down. Give your legs a little walkie walkie, stick your hips back. Good job, come on up. Let's find the balance on the right foot now. Coming up on the ball of the left, and then Soft bend in that supporting leg, keep it perpendicular to the floor. Send that leg back, belly in, long through the spine. Connect those glutes, connect the abdominals. Let's lift that leg for four, three, two, and one. Lower and lift, squeeze, two, squeeze. Keeping it in parallel. Three, four more, four. Three, two, keep that belly in. One, pulse it up. Remember, you can bring your um, upper load, down lower to protect the lower back. Last two, one. Now rotate that leg laterally, flex the ankle towards the face, open the leg up to shoulder distance, hold it there for three, two, one. Now lower and lift, squeeze, two, squeeze, three, four, four, three, two, one. Pulse it, pulse, two, three, four, four, three, two, kick the heel into the bum, pull and push, two, and push, three, four, four, keep the belly pulled in, two, one, now keep that leg flexed, move it to the side of the body, straight in and out, lift, two, lift, three, four, four, three, two, one, lift it, pulse, two, three, four, four, three, two, and one, point the toe, kick it back, arabesque, lift it up, and lower, lift, and lower, for, so for your arabesque, it's like a reverse figure four, your knee lifts, and back down, lift, and down, four, three, two, one, straighten the leg and lower and lift. Toe, toe pointed this time. Lift. Three. Lift. Four. And four. Three. Two. One. Pulse it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Turn to parallel. Lower and lift. Two. And lift. Turn that thigh in. Lift. Four. And lift. Four more. Four. Three, two, one, pulse at eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and bring it down. And pedal those knees, stick the hips back away from your balance point, walk your knees in, stretching through those glutes, moving up that lumbosacral area. That's it, good job. Come up tall, let's fold the right leg over the left and sit it back, stretching out those glutes. And then we're gonna come down to the floor. We're gonna do our glutes on the floor as well. I told you, it's a bit of a booty day. And then bring it up, whew. Other side, sit it back. Good job. And bring it up so we can get rid of our balance point. And we're gonna come down onto the mat into our four point kneeling. Make sure you have space behind you. And we're gonna start on our elbows, so bring your elbows directly underneath the shoulders, your finger, your arms in line with the mat, your fingertips facing forward. Make sure your knees are directly underneath the hips. And we're going to slide the right leg back and then lift it up to hip height. I'm a little bit too far, too close to the wall. So lift it up behind you and then flex the toe, pull the heel in, and we're going to push it up to the ceiling and lower. Push, push, 
push. Four, three, two, one. Now hold it there, kick it away, pull it in. Push and pull. Push, push. Four, three, two, one. Hold it there. Now point the toe and little pulse. Two, three, four, four, three, two, and one. Now from here, tap the toe down, bring yourself up onto your hands, and you're going to open your body out to the side. So you come open. So your knee now is under the hip. Bring your back heel back behind the body for balance. Adjust your hand position if you need to. Lengthen the whole body. You can reach the arm up or have it on your hip. And we're going to lift that leg up to hip height and hold it there for four, three, two. Let's lower and lift it down. Bring it down. Lift straight from the side of the hip and lift. Lift four, three, two, one. Hold it up and pulse. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. Bring your hand to the floor. Come down onto your elbow. Have the fingertips facing towards the front corner of your mat. And then open the body out to the front of the room. Bring your hips down to the mat. I'm going to stay up on my knee because I have a little bit of a bruised hip. But you can come down onto your hips like this and work the legs with the hips down. Or you can challenge yourself with a longer lever by bringing the hips, hips up, or you can fully extend those legs. Whatever option feels good for you. I'm going to keep my knee down, pick that leg back up to hip height, and I'm going to kick it forward. Kick it forward, pull it back. Kick it forward, pull it back. Flex the foot and kick, point the toe and push. Flex and kick, point and push. Four more. Flex and push. Three and push, two, push it back, last one, push it back, come to center, lower the foot, lower the hips, we're going to come down a little bit lower, mm -hmm. so you can come now with your head in your hand, or you can um, lie down so your head is on your bicep, I'm trying to figure out how to be in here so you can see me, my camera's not in the best position today, so bring yourself down so your waistline is long, and lifted and connected, push that top hip bone away from the bottom hip bone. Have a soft bend in your bottom leg if you need it for balance, otherwise keep the leg long and stack the hips, stack the shoulders. We're gonna lift that top leg with the toe pointed and we're gonna do circles. So we're going up, forward, down, and back. 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 Change direction, forward, up, back and down, forward, up, back and down, forward, up, back and down, forward, up, back and down. Now come in line with the other leg, keep that leg there, we're going to lift the bottom leg up to meet it and lower them both down. Lift the top, lift the bottom, lower them together. Lift the top, lift the bottom, lower them together. Squeeze those thighs and lift, lower them together. Lift it up, up, Squeeze together, lift it up, up, squeeze together. Last one, up, up, squeeze together. Now lift the top leg, bend the knee, bring the foot to the floor, lift the bottom leg and hold. Four, three, two, one. Point that toe lower and lift and squeeze. Two and squeeze. Three, squeeze. Four, lift. Four more, lift. Three, two, one. Pulse at eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And lower it down. Good job. Okay, let's just pull those knees in and flip ourselves over to the right side. We're coming back on our hands and knees, so I'm going to turn my mat this way. Now hopefully you can still see me back on our hands and knees and we're going to work that left leg now. So hands are under the shoulders or elbows under the shoulders, totally up to you. Knees under the hips, we're going to slide that right leg back, lift it up, flex the ankle, flex, flex the foot. We're lifting up and lower, lift and lower and lower 
and lower. Keep that belly connected. Three, two, one. Pulse at eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Kick it out. Pull it in. Kick it out. Pull it in. Kick it out. Pull it in. Keep your belly pulled towards your spine. Pull it in. Four more. Kick it out. And pull. And three. And pull. And two. Pull it in. And one. Pull it in. Now reach it out. Point the toe. Lower and lift. Lift. Two. Three. Four. Four. Three, two, one, lift it, pulse, two, three, four, four, three, two, and one. Now lower that foot down, bring your right hand to the middle of your mat, fingertips face towards the front corner, open the hips up. So we're kneeling, bring your, your foot back a little bit so that you have this openness in that lower leg. Adjust your hand if you need to so it's under your shoulder, and we're going to lift that, that top leg up. So... Get yourself sorted, belly lifted, both sides of the waistline are long, and then lift that top leg and hold. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, lower and lift. Tap it down, lift, two, lift. So straight up and down from the side of the hip, lift. Four more, three, two, one, pulse at eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now lower it down. We're going to bring our elbow down to the floor. Slide that hip in. So again, you can be down on your hip for your kicks or you can keep it lifted, okay? I'm going to keep mine lifted. My leg and my bottom waistline are all connected. I'm going to lift that top leg, okay? I'm going to kick it, flex the foot, kick it forward, push it back. Kick it forward, push it back. Kick it forward, push it back. Keep that belly connected so you don't rock forwards and backwards in your pelvis. So you wanna feel your pelvis nice and locked in. Last three, and push. Two, and push. Last one, push it back and back to center. Lower the foot, lower the hips. Bring your head into your hands or down on your bicep, whatever feels good for you. Let's connect those bottom legs. Remember, you can have the bottom one bent to help you with your balance, but pick up that top weight with that bottom waistline. Push the top hip away, open the leg up to hip height, and hold four, three, two, and one. Now circles up, forward, down, and back. 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 Two more. Up, forward, down and back, up, forward, down, and back, change direction, forward, up, back, and down, forward, up, back, and down, forward, keep the bottom waistline away from the floor, last two, up, back, and down, last one, back, and down, now bring it up, lift the bottom, lower them together, bring it up, lift the bottom, lower them together, bring it up, Lift, lower, together, bring it up. Lift, lower, together. Two more, up, up, down. Up, up, down. Now lift the top, bend the knee, put it on the floor. Lift the bottom, hold, four, three, two, one. Lower and lift, squeeze, two, squeeze, three. Squeeze, use that inner thigh, and four. Lift, three, two, one and pulse. Two, three, four, four, three, two, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. Pull those knees in. Just pull them in close to your chest for a minute. You can pull the top leg over the bottom one if you want. Just stretching through those glutes a little bit. Good job. Let's just bring ourselves up. Okay, we're going to mermaid sit just for a minute to, to stretch those glutes out. So right heel is in close to the right knee. And we're just going to lean it forward, stretching through that right hip. And then like 
taken away, let's flip those knees over. Left foot is against the right knee. Lift the body up, bring it forward and stretch it forward, stretching those glutes. Good, and lift it up. And now while we're here, we are gonna lean over to that left side and float that right leg up. So your heel, your knee, and your hip are all at the same height. And we're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower, lift, lower, lift, and lower, four more, four, three, two, one, bring it down, flip it over. I just find it's nice to stretch the glutes up before you go straight into that one. Bring yourself down onto the elbow, lift the hip, knee, heel, all the same height. Now squeeze it down and lift, down and lift, three, four, four, three, two, one, lift it up and down. Let's rock on over to our back, all the way down, and we're going to go up into our glute bridge. So pull those heels in nice and close to the bum, and relax the spine, pull the ribs down, get that nice abdominal connection. Let's reach our hands up towards the ceiling for this one. Inhale, exhale, roll the spine away, and come up to the bridge and hold for six, five, four, three, two, one, roll away. Now grab those little weights that I asked you to keep close by and handy. And we're gonna bring them into our hands. Get your pelvis ready to do bridges with our arms. So elbows come out wide to the side so they're in line with the shoulders. The weights are reaching up towards the ceiling. We're gonna inhale. As we exhale, we're gonna push the hands, lift the hips, pull it down. Push and pull. Squeeze the bum and lift and pull. Squeeze and pull. Belly stay connected. Don't arch that back and down. Four, three, two, one. Hold it up there now and we're going to open, turn the palms to face each other and open out to the side. Open out, squeeze it in. Open and squeeze. Open and squeeze. Lower them down a little bit, lower than your shoulders if you feel any pinching in your shoulders. Keep squeezing those glutes. Four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Now bring the elbows back overhead. Tap the floor and reach it up. Tap it back. Reach it up. So you're extending those triceps. Reach. 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 So the upper arm staying still. The back arm is going towards the floor, extending. Four, three, two, one. Lift it up. Bring the back over the chest. Pull those elbows back down wide to the side. Lower the hips. Hands go down beside you. Okay, let's walk those feet away a little bit. Hands up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhaling, flexing all the way back up. Good job. Now we're going to grab our weights and hold them in close to our chest. And we're going to rock just back behind those sit bones, okay? Find that nice connection here. Turn the weights so that they face in towards your chest so they're perpendicular to the floor. And we're going to curl it back, open the arm, pull it in, lift it up. Curl it back to the left, in, pick it up. Curl it back, open, close, and lift. Curl it back, open. So twist the body like your corkscrew. Back and twist, center and lift, back and twist, center and lift, back and twist, center and lift, back and twist, center and lift. Now we're just going to twist side to side, so go back and twist, center, twist, center, twist, center, stay behind those sit bones, center, four, Three, two, one. Bring it back to center and lengthen up. Good job. Put those weights down for a minute. Inhale. Exhale, roll yourself back. Slide those feet in close to the bum. Inhale. Exhale, roll yourself up for a glute bridge. No, for a glute bridge. We're going to keep the weights down for this one. But we're going to tabletop the right leg and just work the left. So little flex and lift. Two. 
three, four, straighten the leg for four, three, two, one, bend the knee, place it down, keep the hips up high, flex the left and down, lift, down, lift, down, down and lift, straighten the leg and down, two, three, four, lift it up, bend the knee, place it down and pulse for six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold for four, three, two, and one, roll it down. Good job. Okay, let's grab those weights again. You can do one weight or two, totally up to you. Open those feet out a little bit wider. Reach the weights up, so I like to grab mine so that they are connected with each other. It just helps stop my shoulders from crowding in too much. So you can either connect them like this or like this. Okay, whatever feels good for you. And we're going to sweep those arms back and pull them forward. Keep the ribs down, sweep them back, pull it forward. Last one, reach it back, pull it forward. Now we're going to roll it up. So pull it back, pull it forward, sweep the abs, reach and lift. Curl it down and back. So remember, I did that with the knees bent so you could remember that you can straighten your legs for that momentum and bend them to come down, okay? It's totally up to you. Try and do it with the legs straight if you can. So reach it back, pull it forward, nod the chin, flex it up, and lift. You can keep the knees bent throughout, or lift it up, flex, and stack. Pull it back, release it down. Keep those ribs down, flex it up, pull and stack. Pull it down. Keep pushing the heels into the floor. Pull it up. Lift and stack. Pull it down. And down. Lift it up. <clears throat> Pull and stack. Lift it down. And down. Last one. Pull and stack. Lift it up. Bring it down. And down. Good job. Bend those elbows. Drop those weights there for me. Bend the knees in. And we're going to come up to our balance point. So, hands come up overhead again. Inhale, exhale, nod the chin, flex the spine forward, begin to roll as you pick up those feet and come into your boat pose. Stay here. We're going to stay in that boat pose to do our toe tap today. So, tap the right and lift. Tap the left and lift. If you need to, you can grab onto the back of your knees. That will just help carry that balance. Or you can bring your hands out to the side. But we want to try and keep that belly connection as we swap those legs, and swap, and swap, and swap. It's hard, keep going, and lift, and the last one left, and lift and hold, four, three, two, one. Now slowly roll it down as you straighten those legs, and pull it up, roll it down, pull it up, roll it down, pull it up. Last two, roll it down, pull it up. Last one, pull it up. And bring yourself up and just lengthen the spine for a minute. Good job, we're gonna do those bicycle crunches or obliques. So come on down to the mat, let's take top our right leg, get your belly connected into the mat. Pick up the left leg, bring the hands behind the head, flex it up and look towards those knees. Now we're gonna reach that left leg long as we twist the right up of the letter the left armpit towards the right knee, and then twist, and twist, and twist, like you're a corkscrew, or a ribbon wrapping around a maypole, and twist, oh, keep that head lifted, don't pull on it, and twist, and reach, and twist, and reach, and twist, and reach, last one, twist to the left, come into center, bring your hands to the back of your knees, inhale, exhale, bring yourself on up, good job. Okay, that was really well done. So let's open back up to that mermaid leg for a minute, right leg in front, left leg back, find yourself seated nice and comfortably, bring your hands to the front of your knees, you're going to inhale, lift the chest, push the chest forward and lengthen the spine, then exhale, flex and pull the whole belly away and look towards the belly button. 
Inhale, push into the, push into the knees. Get that nice length in the spine and push the chest forward. Exhale, pull the belly back. Flex and look towards the belly button. One more time. And flex. And then come back up to your nice neutral. Right hand down to the floor. Let's sweep that left hand up and over. And lengthen up. And the left hand up. So right hand up and over. And lengthen up. Good job. Swap feet. So your left foot is coming to your right knee now. Get your hips as comfortable and as level as you can. You always want to try and push that sit bone down so that you're level. And bring your hands to the front of the knees. Lift the chest. And then pull it back. And lift. So you rock forward of those sit bones, lengthening the spine. And then behind the sit bones as you flex the spine, pulling the belly button in. So you're working those abdominals. Lift. And flex it back. And then into our center, left hand to the floor, sweep the right hand up and over. Enjoy that stretch. Lengthen up, left hand up and over. And lengthen up and down and you guys are done. So well done. That was lots of booty, lots of abs. And it was, um, it moved pretty quickly. So as long as we're mixing it up and, and changing position a lot, it seems to go a lot faster than if we just sat there going boop, 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 boop. Um, so I really enjoyed that. I hope you did too. And thanks for joining me for another day at the bar.